Dominic, you're holding an iPad. In front of you, you've got some photos from your Instagram, some from your teammates as well. Yep. You're going to go through them for me now yep. and let us know your memories from that. You ready to go? Yeah, ready, yeah. Okay, first one. Well, this one, um, it was back when I was a tough tackling midfielder and you can see the facials as well. <laughs> that was literally my next question. Yeah. What is going on with the facials? I don't, I'm not sure <laughs> to be honest, but you can see I love the hashtag as well. Hashtag crunch, big tackle, <laughs> love football, SUFC. So it was in the youth team days it was. Team, I think yeah. I was a first year scholar. Um, I believe around that time I used to hashtag quadzilla as well. I Did think, you? yeah, just because I thought I had massive quads, but obviously looking at that picture, obviously not. <laughs> big on the hashtag. <laughs> yeah. um, obviously you're a Sheffield United fan yeah. growing up. So then to play for your boyhood club, what was that like? That must have been amazing. It was a dream come true and it was, um, it was tough as well because I, I kind of put quite a lot of pressure on myself at the time because I knew that like I had friends that were Sheffield United fans and um, you know their dads were Sheffield United fans yeah. or whatever. And as a young boy, I think I overthought it a little bit. So I definitely feel like I had unfinished business at Sheffield United. And um, But it was a dream come true to, to play for my boyhood club, which I watched a ball boy for and, and growing up. and. I'll have the chance to, to play against them in the Premier League next year. A little bit more recent, this one. And I imagine this is a very, very proud moment in your career. Yeah, this one's one of my favourite pictures, obviously, to win the Under-20 World Cup, um, to put so much into it the, the year before and to go there and, and win it. And for me personally, to score the winner, it was yeah. uh, no better feeling. There's a moment I'll never forget where um, I had five or six family members um, over there and I knew where they were sitting before before the final kicked off. and. As soon as we won it, we all just like ran over. To, well, we was ran together, had a little huddle, and then my first thought was like, "Where's my family?" And I ran straight up the stairs. And there's another picture on my Instagram actually where I'm hugging my granddad, and it's, yeah. it's that moment where we just literally the final whistle had just gone. And I think things like that they, they never leave you. And of course, not many people can say that they've scored the winning goal in a World Cup final, the only goal of the game for England. No, not many people can, and it's uh, it's a nice achievement for myself. And you know, still even now, some people will, will remind me of it, and not that I need reminding that that, <laughs> that I forget. But um, just like you say, the raw emotion, and it definitely brought that group of lads together. And you know, a lot of us are here now playing yeah. together, and we carry that experience with each other uh, to, to the to this day. And I think you know, we're from all different parts of the country, and. You know, we, we, we definitely feel as, as one as one big group now. Love yeah, it. Going to be left. very tough to top that photo. Right, let's have a look at the next one. Yeah, more recent. We um, This is the winning team from the last camp before we came here, I think. Um, some good players in there. But there's a little video on Instagram of us absolutely popping the other team off the park. <laughs> um, Phil Foden and Mason Mount and Kev being the masterminds behind that. Um, one and two touch. Good, good team. There's some of the nicer moments, the proud moments. Let's look at the next one. Slightly different, this one. I've got a lot of questions, Dominic, about this. Uh, what is going on here? I don't have a clue, to be honest with you. Sometimes I don't have an explanation for the... I don't even know who took that picture. Might have been Tom Davis that took that picture. To is this a regular occurrence? You're in a supermarket, you're in an aisle, and, and you, you're standing there and someone takes a photo of you? Sometimes I think, you know when you put an outfit on and you think, this could potentially be quite wasted. <laughs> uh, so I just... Hey, Take a picture of that, will you? In the um, bread aisle. Yeah. You, you buying bread and dips? I weren't really aware of where I was at the time. Um, I think you probably might have gone in for a packet of crisps, a little, <laughs> little cheat day maybe. Um, but yeah, there's not really much to explain. Um, might have bought a loaf of bread whilst yeah. I was there, yeah. I don't really usually stop in the middle of supermarkets <laughs> and have a little photo shoot, but on this occasion and then. You did. Must have ran out of pictures and yeah. then thought, I need to post one on my, on my Instagram. And from that one to the next one. A little bit flash. Um, is that indoors as well? Because yeah, you're wearing sunglasses yeah, indoors yeah, and trying yeah. to send a text. That's quite difficult. Yeah, I couldn't really see a thing to be no. honest with you. <laughs> I think I put them on for the for the picture and then take, took them straight off. I was on my phone, but I could have been calling anyone at that moment because I don't, couldn't really see what I was doing. But um, I don't know. You don't know. There's not really an explanation for why these pictures occur, but I, th I always think just it's make something different for, yeah. from a football picture to post on your Instagram and. You know, if people like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. I know. love the honesty behind it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, right after the World Cup, um, we, I had the privilege of going mm. to Kensington Palace and meeting Prince William. Um, what was he like? Good people person. Yeah. Um, very good at, like, obviously, as you'd expect, communicating with everyone. Yeah. Um, communicating with everyone in the room. And I think um, 
just a great honour to, to be able to do that. You know, not everyone everyone gets that opportunity, and I know my mum my mum was very proud. Really. Um, yeah, and, and not many people get to go inside Kensington Palace, and for me to have obviously scored the winner and yeah. uh, and gone in there with my my head held high and I've done my country proud and my family proud more so. Um, it was just a nice, nice, nice experience. Moment. And that conversation, it looks like you're having a conversation with him. What was said between you two? I think he spoke about Villa. Did he? He's a big Villa fan, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, he's a Villa fan, yeah. Because this was like... mad at the, the playoff final. This was two years ago now, so I can't remember what, what was exactly getting said. Um, I remember being quite nervous, actually. Were you? Yeah, yeah. Um, but he definitely spoke about Aston Villa. Yeah. Um, and he actually mentioned about me, obviously, playing for Everton and, and stuff like that, but... Just to kind of get did he that. Did he try and get you to sign to Villa? Did he, did he have a little bit <laughs> no, of No, no. <laughs> Secret agent. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, he didn't, he didn't try that. No. no. No funny business like that. But no, just a good, a good football chat and a bit about the, the World Cup and how like, obviously proud he was of us. The main man, number 10, Wayne Rooney. Yeah, it's a great photo, this, isn't it? Of yeah, all the players, yeah. you play with some top players I have at now, Everton. Yeah. yeah. Where does he rank, would you say, amongst the best players you play with in an Everton shirt? Well, up there, and I think. Obviously, coming towards the back end of his career, you can always kind of predict what he would have been like, you know, in, in his complete prime. And I think he would have been so, so hard to play against because he's kind of got everything, you know, he's quick. He can pick a pass, he can shoot from anywhere. Um, and I think I remember being quite starstruck when he first, yeah, when I first saw him, um, having grown up playing FIFA, watching England and things like that. And for a young boy, when you hear Wayne Rooney, biggest man in English football for me and to have the I've had the privilege to play with him was a was a special experience and when he first came in I remember I think he'd obviously changed his game up a little bit um, but just on the ball he's more, I was more surprised not surprised but impressed by his technique and his, like, his weight of pass how he could just ping a ball like as far as yeah. he wanted really um, and then I think he was he was very good for me because it was kind of like my breakthrough season and as a young kid playing in the Premier League is hard enough, but when you've got obviously guys like him around you with bags of experience and to kind of put his arm around you when you need it and, and tell you you're doing well when you are doing well and give you constructive criticism when, when you perhaps need it. And I think um, I'll be forever grateful for getting the opportunity to play with him. So this one is, um, we had a little bit of downtime um, in Dubai when we went with the team, went with the squad, trained out there and it was my first time in Dubai, actually. Uh, never mind all that, never mind all that. <laughs> I, I, the abs is what we've got to talk about. Unbelievable abs there. Is, is that a, I knew is, what I was doing, didn't I? You knew what you were doing, doing. Yeah. <laughs> That is a pose for the camera, isn't it? I love the fact you tell me where you were, why you were yeah. there. Three, two, one, breathe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Looking good in that show, photo, Showing you? off a little bit, I think. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've been blessed, uh, thankfully, uh, when I was a bit younger. Um, um, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to talk about this. I don't like talking about myself like okay. that. <laughs> wow, Harvey Barnes. This, now this is that's unacceptable. That quite, to quite still be on his Instagram. An amazing photo. Yeah. Have you not seen this? Before? Nah, never. So this is the first time you've seen this photo of Harvey Barnes. How do you react? Unacceptable. <laughs> Some barn it that. It's an amazing Some barn, barn it. <laughs> Wow. It's still on his He's, Instagram uh, now. Is it? Yeah. Which Two, I quite respect. 2014, yeah. Fair play. Yeah. 266 weeks ago. Presentation last night. I'm sure yeah. what he's doing with the fingers there. <laughs> Must have been for the ladies, that one. <laughs> Sorry, for the ladies, man. I'll have a word with him when I get back. He looks good. Yeah, he does, he does. You'll never work with him, okay? <laughs> Hang on. Right, so finally, last photo. Mason Mount. Yes. Is it? I looked at him and thought, I bet he's good one touch, a one and two touch player. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but he's got great ball control. Yeah, top man, mate. Nice Good luck one. for the rest of the tournament. Cheers, Adam. Cheers, mate. Thank Good you. Top man. Nice one.